What's up, family? Today, we're going to talk about benefits of going to the gym. So, as you all know, man, I go to the gym a lot, probably like four to six times a week. I've been doing this consistently for two years. I started in April of 2022. Since then, the lowest amount of times in a week that I've went to the gym has been three. Three times in a week. That's been my lowest. That's my bad week. For me, going to the gym three times a week, that's a bad week. So if I'm feeling sick, if I'm feeling ill, kind of out of town, three. But even if I'm on vacation, I still go at least three times a week. So nothing changes for me. It's very, very consistent. So today we're going to talk about the benefits of that and just the true power of going to the gym. Because some people think, you know, everybody goes to the gym to be big, ah, you know, stuff like that. But... In reality, man, it's a whole lot of more benefits that come to going to the gym that people don't even realize that they just take for granted. So I'm going to narrow it down. So the first thing that I want to talk about is just discipline. You going to the gym and being disciplined and consistent, man, that builds so much for you. Like just being disciplined and consistent in the gym, it just unlocks so much for you. So just think about every day you wake up. You go to the gym at 5 a.m. It takes a certain amount of discipline to do that. So then it translates to everything else in your life. So now everything else in your life, you're taking it serious. You're taking that initiative to start it because you know, like, no matter what, you're going to handle that. You're going to do it every day, day in and day out. So it helps with that. And it also builds that consistency within your life. So consistency eliminates procrastination. So now... You're going about your day with a plan, with structure, with a purpose. That's how you're going about your day. So, man, that part is very, very powerful. So, of course, with going to the gym, of course, you're going for physical health. So, yeah, you're going to look good, but you're also there for your physical health. So, right now, I'm 25. I'm working out for myself when I become 50, when I become 45, when I become 55, when I become 60. That's why I'm working out right now. So you have less pain in the future. You have less tears in the future. Like, I'm lucky and blessed enough to never had a major surgery in my life. Never tore anything major in my life. And I think I had a lot of incidents that was kind of awkward. Or if anybody else with weak bones have been in my situation, they probably would have broke something. But... Because I'm disciplined, I just take the time out to just train my body to that top tier level and put it through everything that may seem hard. It pays off in the long run. Then it just, you know, it decreases your chances of getting chronic conditions. Like, that's a big deal. And a lot of us, a lot of our generation, we don't think that far ahead. And that's sad because we have beautiful ancestors, beautiful elders that we see sometimes are crippled. So, and that's from them working a lot. So it's not because they were lazy, but that's for them working a lot. A lot of us nowadays, a lot of people are lazier. Like, a lot of people don't want to really work. A lot of people there doing work from home. But you're not staying active on the back end. So in reality, you're in worse shape. So now your body will break down sooner. And that's something that has not been talked about a lot. So I'm trying to talk about that now because that's very important. Another one, this is number three, weight management. Man, I've been consistently from 205 pounds to 220 the last two years like right now i'm in my book stage but i'm about to shred so i should be to like 210 by the end of the year and so then i maintain like 205 to 210 but when i'm in a book stand i missed i maintain 210 to 220 so when you're able to manage your weight that's so powerful like imagine you playing with the scale like it's a video game. That's how you playing with the numbers. Like, okay, I'm going to do this, and I'll lock this number. I'll do this, and I'll lock this number. That's how you play with your weight, man. So weight management is very essential. It helps with psychological help. You know, that ties into it. But that's number four, mental health. So when you're working out, man, you feel good, you look good, you play good. You got the confidence within yourself to think that you are beautiful inside and out. 
you look good. If you're a guy, you think you're handsome. So, man, it's very key, man. You have that confidence to wear certain clothes. Go to the beach with trunks on and no shirt. Wear a tank top like this rib case with traps and arms and everything looking good. And that took hard work, man. I promise you, I used to be small. I used to weigh 170 pounds. I only weigh 215 right now, so it's not big of a difference, but it's just a consistent level that I've been working out on. So that's why I look so big, because I've been working out so consistently, my weight has turned to mass. So the number doesn't mean anything. It's really what you do in the lab that builds your mass. So a lot of us, we get caught up in that mass and that number. That's not what's important. So just keep that in mind, because you got to think about it. Also, when you're working out, man, it releases endorphins. So you just got to think about it like, man, you're doing good. You're releasing hormones that feel good within yourself. You're reducing anxiety, stress. And then it's just symptoms of depression. I've seen so many people who are depressed go to the gym and they lose that depression. Honestly, just try. If you think I'm lying, just try. Also, it just increases your strength and endurance. So now you're stronger. Now you got better muscle strength. Now if you add in cardio to it or add in hit to it, you got better stamina. Now you got better endurance. Now... If you think about it now, everything in your life is just top tier. So now with you, when you're with your girl, man, you can just, she can grab your arm, feel safe, because she know you a big dog. Like, she know you in that lab working out. Like, she know, okay, if something hit the fan right now, she trusts you because you're disciplined and you trust yourself. So she trusts you enough to know that, man, this what you've been working your whole life for, this moment right here. Also, Another one, it helps you sleep. So I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I have trouble going to sleep. So I get a good pump in, man. You be tired. You ready to go to bed. You ready to crash, man. It's just, it promotes deeper, restful sleep. Honestly, it's just as simple as that. So it helps you fall asleep faster and then have better quality of sleep as well. So just try these things, man. Look. I'm on number six, but I'm, I'm going to keep going because it, these are things that everyone should know about this gym. I feel like everyone should know this. It boosts your confidence. I said that already, but I'm going to say it again officially. It boosts your confidence. When you achieve those fitness goals, whether it's big or small, man, it can lead to better self-esteem. That's common sense. Anyone knows that you just feel that swagger amongst yourself. Number eight. You build a social presence because you're in the gym with other people. So other people are there. You lose some of your social anxiety. Like, you just start to just settle down and just get ready to turn up because now you know that, man, everyone is down there for the same goal, same purpose, to get better themselves individually. No one is stunning you. That right there can relieve a lot of stress from thinking that everyone is paying attention. You're not doing enough. You will see people from all different phases of their life in that gym. Honestly, that's what I love the most about the gym. You go to the gym, you will see somebody in their starting journey, in their end journey, in their middle journey. Like, you will see all type of journeys, and it will just help you stay humble, help you just be thankful that you're there, too. Like, everyone taking the time out to work on themselves. That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. We got to take care of our body, man. This is art. This is the gift. Our body is a gift. There's some people out there right now that can't go to the gym. They can't even take the time out to go to the gym. Some people lost their strength, lost the nerves in their body. They can't even work out to the level that we can. So I just think about it like that. And I just try to take advantage because why not, man? I've been blessed with it. Why not take advantage of this opportunity? Number nine. When you're in the gym, it helps you stay structured as well. I talked about that at the beginning, but I'm going to talk about it now again. It helps you stay structured because guess what? You're in a structured environment. When you have in that gym routine, I already said it, man. It builds structure. You go into the gym every day at the same time. Or you just go an amount of times every week because I don't go at the same time every day, but I'm going to get my number of times for the week. So it's the same thing. It's still building structure within your life. So, man, that's very important. And again, and last, I'm going to stress this again, man. Injury prevention. Look, man, 
that gym will save you from your future self. Remember that. Even if you're not going for you right now, your future self will want you to go. Just keep that in mind, man. Keep that in mind. Man, just keep that in mind. I can't keep saying the same thing. Can't keep saying the same thing, man. I love y'all family. Thank y'all for tuning in, man. Just stay in the gym. Stay getting better. Stay getting better every day, man. It has a lot of good benefits. A lot of good benefits, including looking good. Anyway, going to the gym, it helps you stay attractive to the other race. So, the other body. Females that go to the gym, they're attractive. Females may think, I'm attractive because I go to the gym. Females may think you're attractive because you go to the gym. So it helps you keep that attraction level as well, man. So stay focused, stay poised, man. Daughter family, I'm out. <sighs> Baby.